Hi everyone, this is Crystal from A Crystal Clear Life. Do you get beautiful handmade cards or cards that you just think are so fun or perfect for something that you could use in a notebook? Well, I get them all the time and I really just hate to throw them away. So today I'm going to show you a way to use those in a notebook that you might have. So why don't you grab a cup of tea and join me as we do some crafting together today. This is Crystal here at A Crystal Clear Life where we focus on planning, organizing, and living a more simplified life. At least that's the plan anyway. I was going through some cards um, and cleaning up a little bit around the house and I said, you know, these cards are so cute. And this one I know is handmade by a dear friend of mine and I just love it so much. But it was for Valentine's and Valentine's Day is over. This one I found and it's perfect. I'm a quilter and apparently I have a fabric addiction problem. And so for me, this card is perfect. I was also a Girl Scout leader for 14 years and this card was sent to me by uh, one of the parents of one of my Girl Scouts for all of those years. And it's just a beautiful card and I don't really have a purpose for it, but I don't want to throw it away. So I'm going to repurpose it. Just like I'm going to repurpose this Happy Planner calendar from last year. This is a 2020 uh, Happy Planner calendar, but I loved it so much. I love the colors and all of that. I love the size. It's got these nice metal rings. So I've decided that I'm going to use this as a notebook to store information in. Looking at these cards, I thought, you know, these would be perfect to use as dividers. So here you can see I've taken a Christmas card that is nice and sparkly. I don't know if you can see that sparkle, but, um, and cut it out to make a divider and put it in the notebook. And then I can have Christmas paper behind where I can make lists or dinner plans or whatever it might be, uh, cards that I'm going to send to people, um, whatever it might be in this little Christmas section. So I thought, well, what are some other sections that I can make with these other cards that I have here? Well, let's get started and see what we can do. I have Christmas. Um, I need a birthdays uh, tab. So I'm going to go back here to the next tab in my old calendar and I'm going to pull that out and I'm going to use that as a template. This card you'll see happens to be the perfect size for making a tab divider. The first thing that I need to do is I need to cut the front off of the back of the card. So let me lay my tab divider on the side, get my Fisker's paper trimmer out. I'm going to line this up here at the end. I'm going to cut this uh, crease off here. And there we go. Don't need that anymore. All right. I think this will be perfect to put in this notebook to make a divider tab for birthdays. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn the card over on the back and you see it even has a cute backing on the inside. And then I'm going to turn my divider from my Happy Planner calendar on the back and all I'm going to do is simply take my pencil and trace along using this existing divider as my new tab. Now I can decide, do I want this to be the cover that shows when I put it in my notebook? So it would look like this, and then I would open it and it would say birthdays are for celebrating. Or do I want to put it so it says birthdays are for celebrating, and then you open it up and you see a list of people's birthdays there. I think I want it to be this way. Birthdays are for celebrating. I think that's going to look good. Okay, so I'm going to get my Fisker's paper trimmer back out. 
because I want to make sure that this line is cut as straight as possible. I'm not going to cut down to the tab. I'm just going to cut the majority of this line as straight as possible. We'll stop there. I'm going to lift this up and come down to this side so that I can go a little bit on this side. And then I'm going to take my scissors and go in and trim around the rest of the tab. So you see here I've cut this and I've cut this. Now I just need to take my scissors and trim out the other side. For those of you who may not know, the best way to use your scissors is to hold them straight out in front of you and move the paper that you're cutting, not the scissors. Take it from somebody who was a teacher for 30 years, teaching children how to use their scissors. Get rid of that trash. And now we have the divider that came with our old planner and we have our new divider. See how nicely that line is right along that red uh, edge of the paper. And now what I need to do is I need to put a label on here. So I'm going to get my label maker. I happen to be using the Brother P-Touch. This is a very old label maker. It's probably 30 years old. And I want this to say birthdays, so I can type that in. It is already set for the smallest font and the most narrow font, so I'm hoping that that will fit on my tab. Print that. The tape that I'm using is a white background tape because I want it to stand out. It's so old that my little scissor cutter thing here is broken. <laughs> Oh well, these work just fine. Move that out of the way. And let's see how this is going to fit. Yes, that will fit perfectly on the tab. Now, I do notice that it's a little wide, so I'm going to trim down some of the top. Like so. And I'm going to round these edges just a smidge. So that they are not sharp. This tape that comes with this label maker is split in the middle. So you can crease it and pull off the backing. Let's see if we can get this on here centered. There we go. That looks pretty good. Press it down nice and firm. Now we need our handy dandy hole punch. This hole punch is from the tool line of disc planners and one of the nice things about it is that it has a sliding rule in here currently it is set at 11 which is for the eight and a half by 11 paper that I normally use in my big notebook kind of latches into place but the nice thing about the happy planner notebooks are if you start at the bottom where the 11 hole hole punch is you can fit all of your disc holes in there and they should line up perfectly. Now that I say that, it may not work. Let's see what happens. Okay, there we go. Let's pull our notebook back over here. 
We have our Christmas section that we just did with our Christmas paper. And now our wild ideas paper is going to be for our birthday section. Let's put this in and see how that works. So now we have Christmas, we have birthdays, and let's do this one next. This one's a little bit different because the card is very much bigger than the divider. So let me show you how we're gonna trim that down. I'm going to switch to the middle divider. And when you take a look at this card, you can see that it has writing on the inside. And what I want to try to do is I want to try to get my divider and see if that will work and fit within this little note that is here and still have all of the words in place. If I hold it up to the window or to the light, I can see that there's just enough room and that divider is going to clear and still give me all of the words that I want. So let's go ahead and cut the back off of this. I just think this card is absolutely adorable. And I was so happy when I got it in the mail. And now, every time I look in my planner or my notebook, I'll see this and I'll remember all the good times that we had in Girl Scouts. Let's see, I'm gonna do this one on the back so I can get it lined up. I want the tab to be on this side. So I need to put it in like that. And then when I turn this over, I can line it up. Where I want it to be, I can go right to the edge. I think that will work. I'm getting rid of the writing at the top. And again, if I hold it up to the light, I can see through that all of my words are going to be there on the front. And most importantly, I have that cute little chocolate bar on the front. Okay. Again, I'm gonna take my pencil and I'm gonna draw a very light line where I need to cut and around my tab. This side and across the bottom. Bring back my cutting board, line that pencil mark up with the cut mark there, give it a quick slice, flip it around and do the other side as well. Now, a cutting tip for cutting paper that might be a little heavy or that you might worry about bending the end of the paper is this. If you drop your blade down in the middle of where you want to cut and then cut off the page, sometimes that makes a cleaner cut. So you can see that I started just below this tab and cut off the page. Let me show you over here. See my blade is just beyond this tab here. Drop it down there and push to the end. And again, you have a nice clean cut at the edge. Because sometimes when you bring the blade this way, it hits the end of the paper and causes that to curl up and it doesn't look so good all the time. Okay, enough of that. Let's get our scissors back out and give this a quick trim. There we go. And now for the big reveal. Ta-da! Isn't that cute? I love that. And there's the chocolate bar I was talking about. 
Okay, bring back our big hole punch. Double check and make sure that it's still set at 11. Sometimes it gets bumped. Make sure that this is in nice and tight all the way. Give it a good push. And there we go. Perfect. That's absolutely perfect. Now, this one I want to be gratitude. So let's give a label to this. You know, I really loved being a Girl Scout leader. Some of my fondest memories are being with my Girl Scouts, camping, doing cookie sales, getting together for fun activities. We did a bridging ceremony at Madame Trousseau's wax museum with uh, the wax figure of Juliet Gordon Lowe. Just such fun. Such fun. I think if you have a daughter and you want to get involved in Girl Scouts, it can be a wonderfully rewarding experience. I know we learned a lot and we had so much fun. And now every time that I look at this divider page in my new notebook, I'm going to think about all of that. All right, this says gratitude. And one thing that I certainly am grateful for is all the time that I had all with all those crazy girls. All right, let's get this lined up. Let's see if that's centered. Try and get it straight. There we go. I think that's gonna get some of my wild paper too. I'm just going to pull off a section of that and we'll put that. Oh, look, that even goes well with the colors. Look at that. Okay, pop this into our notebook. And there you go. Now, one thing that I will tell you that I probably will go back and do off camera is I will go back and I will put a label on the back side here that says Christmas and one here that says birthdays and one here that says gratitude. I just think that's awesome. Now, the one thing that I wanted to point out about this card is even though it's very small, it's not big enough to make a divider section, you certainly could very easily cut the back off of this, do some hole punching, and then you have a journaling card. I think that's great. I'm going to do that. Hey you, you're special to me. Now I don't want to line my holes up down here because I don't want it to be at the bottom. I want it to be up a little bit farther. So I'm going to skip that first hole punch for that bottom ring. And I'm going to make sure that I insert my card to get those next six rings in. So on my hole punch here, I'm going to skip this hole here and I'm going to start lining my card up with that one. I don't know if you can see that. Make sure that it's all the way in. And punch. There we go. Turn a few more pages of that other little scrap and then I can put this one right in here and I have a very nice journaling card hey you you're special to me on the back here I might record some special event that I had with the person who sent me this card or just a list of things that are special to me I don't know I just think it's adorable and it's a great way to reuse an actually very well-made card well there you have it. A great way to repurpose cards that may have been sent to you to use them in a notebook or in your planner to create other sections. We have Christmas, we have our birthdays, we have a gratitude section, which is probably my favorite if I'm going to be honest with you. 
And then we also have this cute journaling card that might be nice to even put at the beginning of your notebook. Well, if you found value in anything that you've learned today, please give me a thumbs up. I really appreciate that. And if you'd like to see more of my videos, you can hit that subscribe button. I post videos about once a week. I know I'm primarily a digital planner, but I do still keep notebooks of uh, things that are special to me, or you never know when the internet's going to be down and you need to have a good backup for your birthday list or for your Christmas plans. So it's always good to have a backup, right? And what better place to do it than in a customizable notebook that you've made for yourself. Anyway, thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. I really enjoyed uh, making these with you today and we'll see you in the next one. Okay. Bye.